welcome back guys to yet another world of warcraft video today we are going to be talking about the importance of profession stats now before we do get into it make sure that you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with all the notifications on to enjoy tons of gold making content coming up in dragonflight i greatly appreciate it guys and i also do want to thank every single one of the patreons or patrons supporting me every single month over on patreon if you guys are interested in supporting me a little extra or if you're interested in the benefits that you can get from for, from something as tier two over on the patreon that includes tsm groups it includes it includes shopping lists for Point Blank Sniper, which is for Auctionator, and it also includes a very long document of daily gold making activities for an old army. If any of that sounds interesting, make sure that you hop on over and check it out. Now, the reason that I wanted to make this video is that a lot of people continue to tell me that, oh, San, I can't there's no profit anywhere why do I, everything's being crafted for laws? I can't make gold, I can't make gold. And while that may be the case in certain markets, Profession stats are very important, okay? So to just give you guys an idea, right now I'm going to open up the auction house and give you one example for something in tailoring. In tailoring currently, you can see right here, Infurious Wilder Cloth Bolts. They are posted for 964 gold, and you can see the Awakened Ire is 965 gold. Now for the people that know this recipe, and I'll pull this up right here, you can see that you need one Awakened Ire and three Wilder Cloth Bolts. So just from looking at it, if you don't understand how profession stats are put together, you're like, Sam, this is crafting for a loss. Like, why would I ever make this? When I sell this on the auction house, I am losing gold. Well, this is where profession stats come in. With profession stats, you not only have, it's obviously not for every single craft, it's different depending on the craft, but for this one in particular, you have Inspiration, Resourcefulness, and Multicraft. Considering we can already craft the highest rank, Inspiration does not matter, okay? It doesn't matter in this case, so we're only going to be talking about Resourcefulness and Multicraft. So, Multicraft, the way that that works, for the people that don't know, is every single time it procs, it has a chance to give you bonus crafts. Hence the name. And that could be, depending on how you have set up your profession, that could be anywhere from one bonus crafts, two, three, maybe even four. And obviously, depending on the profession, that might be a little different depending on the craft, but that's just, that's the baseline of how it's put together. Now, resourcefulness is the other one. Resourcefulness has a chance to use less reagents on a craft, which means that any of the reagents that are on there can be not used right so every single time this procs it can save wilder cloth or awakened ire it can also save both but it's more it's uh, more often that it does one or the other so in this case multi-craft is definitely way more worth it because of the fact that it'll craft a full bonus item and not potentially just save some wilder cloth right because the awakened ire is super expensive that's obviously the one that we want but that is super important, right? So at a baseline level, we have a 21% chance or a 20.5. As the game says, we're just going to go over 21%, which means that in a perfect mathematical world where luck isn't introduced, um, if we do 1,000 crafts off this in Furious Watercloth Bolt, then we would get an extra 21% which would be 210 bonus crafts. And you might be like, okay, well, if I lose, if I craft it for the same price, it was 964 and we remove the auction house cut from it, then we would lose like 50 gold on every single sale that we get if it was the exact same price. So on 1,000 crafts, we're already down 50 gold each, which would be 50,000 gold, right? But having the chance to get at least 210 because remember multi-craft can proc not one it can proc not only one but two three or four bonus items right in some cases mostly it's one two or three specifically for tailoring but in other professions it could be different so it is usually a little higher but just you can just put it at a baseline level the smallest percentage and see if there's anything there so right now we're 50 thousand down the hole but considering the fact that we get 210 bonus crafts could be more could be less but on average 210 bonus craft because of the percentage that means we have 210 
additional crafts, which would be 210 times, you know, 964 minus the auction house cut, which would be 192,000, right? And if we remove the 50k out of it, which is what we lost by crafting these at a baseline level, we have 142,000 gold in profit. A lot of people do not consider the profession stats a part of their profit. They just consider it a bonus. A lot of people will literally go away from these crafts because at a baseline level, they're not making profit. It's just very important that you guys think about how much potential gold that you can actually get from your profession stats. And that's why profession gear is super important. Make sure that you get the enchants for the tools and try as hard as you can to get the highest profession gear possible and level up your profession as much as possible, okay? It's super important <coughs> to, to remember these things. And that's why I wanted to make this video, basically just to remind everyone that they're super important and the amount of gold that they can make. They can ba basically make or break a market for you, okay? But if you guys have any questions as to how any of these profession stats work, or if you have any other questions when it comes to professions, make sure that you drop them down in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it. But that is everything that I have for this video. So that's going to be it for this one. So until the next one, see you guys.